Hi, it's Paul Browning from HowToNetwork.net. Uh, this is a downloadable lab. It's a free lab for you to follow. In order to be able to download it, if you just come to HowToNetwork.net, if you go to 101 CCNA labs, click on that. There's an explanation as to how all the labs work, but the free section for you, if you click on the 101 labs, so these are the actual lab challenges. And uh, the particular lab we're going to be following today is port security so it's lab 11 configuring switch access port security this is a, a really important part of the CCNA syllabus and the CCENT so if you print this out you can just click on the printer friendly format you'll have the lab objective the purpose this is an 8 out of 10 for difficulty we've rated it you need to be able to configure it in 15 minutes if you want to get through the exam you got your diagram and then the tasks one, two, three, and four. All right, so if you please do that now, and then the next section of the video will make a lot more sense. Welcome to Lab 11. For this lab, we're going to configure some basic port security on our switch. It's going to learn one MAC address uh, only. Normally, you could have multiple MAC addresses learned through a port. And uh, we're going to configure um, the interface. If any more than one address, MAC address comes through that interface, then it'll shut down. So switch port port security. It's told me there it's not an access port. So a basic question there that you, or a fact you need to retain is that uh, the port security will work on the access ports. So I've put interface fast Ethernet zero slash two into access mode. I've typed switch port port security to turn on security and uh, we're saying switch port, port security, maximum one. So that's one MAC address is allowed. The violation type of type question mark, what we want to do is shut the interface down. Okay, so that's the switch port, port security configured. Type show da uh, port dash security and it shows you a basic overview of switch port, port security. And then you can drill down if you type the interface fast ethernet and then the number afterwards. Alright, so I've already configured router 1 which you can do if you follow the instructions on the lab, the, walk the walkthrough. I've pinged from the router to the switch and this time we can see the last source address is the MAC address of the router. Yours will obviously look different because you, you will have a different MAC address on your fast ethernet of your, uh, of your router. So the port status is still secure up. It's learned that MAC address. And basically, if you remember, the configuration was only to learn one. I've done a show interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 on my router. And you can see the MAC address there ends in um, EC14. So I've copied that address now. There's a little command you can put in on a router to actually change the MAC address. So we'll do that now just to test. So I've pasted in the MAC address and I've changed the last character from my 4 to a 5. So now the different MAC address is going to come through the switch port. If that happens it should, all things being equal, force the port to go down. And you can see it's actually went down before I even had a chance to do the ping. Information and message saying there's a security violation on that port on the switch. And it's been changed to down. Show port security for the interface says it's secure or shut down. So you can see that command has worked and that's the end of the lab. Thanks for watching.